Hey. Oh, <laughs> 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 nah, 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 nah. You ain't just come from the yard. You ain't just come from the yard. Yeah, yeah. Yes, boys. Yes, boys. Be safe. You dirty bastards. Sheldon Cafu, Sheldon. Have a look at these packs then. Have a look at these packs. Have a look at these Carry on, bro. I need to go further. Tell me, Lars, what the point? What we say today, Gaffer? Don't know, mate. You know what I mean? Tough little physical game. Tech of the game as it comes, mate. I'm saying. I've Steve Drew with Phoenix, 0 0, and we bought him 11 0. There you go. We should win. But it's tech of the game as it comes, and you know. Exactly. What do you the reckon of these? What you, what, you, what you think about the team of playing, Sparko? Remember you know what, the, the first game before? The game was a bit of trouble last time. I think the first half the game was a bit of trouble. They scored first. Yeah. But, you know what? Always <laughs> Oh yes, it's, it's the unit. Always <laughs> back. Always <laughs> back. General's back. Can't score a can I? <laughs> 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 Oh, I know, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Oh, I Oh, is that where the Love it, love it. I'm saying this one, lads. Nothing makes it for you. See that 11-0? Good. 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 Good
And all we ask for, boys, and the same thing to everyone, is two hours of hard work a week. Other than that, we've got everything else sorted for you, yeah? Alright, lads, let's go it, lads. Good result last week, man. Let's have to get two gas, yeah? Burk it in goal. Yeah. Cad on the right of the street. Yeah. Drew the middle. And Daisy. Yeah. Daisy. Yeah. Tolton in front of them three. Dan. Yeah. Huh? And then we've got um, Dayan. Dayan, yeah. You come in the middle. No, so you go in the tent and fix behind you in the in the three. KP on the right. AJ on the left. I hate to say it, man, but it's going to be draft and stuff from JJ at the again. <laughs> So boys, it's no different to that. That's very good one. Boys, I'm going to change the city that I've got to be up there. Yes, yes, people. Welcome back to Birmingham Elite FC TV. Now, this week sees us playing our home fixture against Spark Hill United FC. As you know, we played these guys the first game of the season, um, but due to COVID restrictions and so forth, I believe we have to play games in a certain way. So this is the uh, return fixture I played at home. Now this video will be slightly longer than most of the other ones I normally put up uh, due to the fact that we have got a four week break due to Uncle Boris and his clan within the Houses of Parliament putting us into another four week lockdown. So enjoy it. We've got a full subs bench, all the boys back today. Nobody's really missing. Lads return from injury bar one and two. So let's get into it. Boys are comfortable in possession. The boy Cad on the ball. Rolls out to the field. AJ. AJ drops the shoulder. Sees KP3 on the left hand side. Plays into Mr. Bits. Cool, calm and collective on the ball. Got Daisy De Bruyne doing a job for us at the left of the back of the three. Fitch just switches it back out to Cad. Looking for options. But again, like in the first game. Spark Hill are happy to sit deep and try and catch us on a counter attack. AJ tries to drop the box, but their big centre half sends one forward and Spark Hill come away with the ball. Danny Charlton chows his cam take, goes over, clears it out for a throw in. Nothing coming out throw in. The boy Drew Rickett sends one long and high into the sky. Moulton competing with their big man. Their midfielder miss kicks it. Got the boy Starboy KP on the left wing. Drops the shoulder, step over, and driving down that left-hand side. Whips one across the box. Moulton can't quite get it out of underneath his feet. Just tries to square it on the edge of the box to Dayon. Again, nothing comes of it. And Spark will try and catch it on the counter-attack once again. Danny C, aka Chalms is Kante. Sticks a foot in, referee gives a free kick. Now the free kick sent up high by Spark Hill. Danny Charlton gets the first header on it and Cad clears up. Goes out for a throw in. Nothing coming out throwing for Spark Hill. Went into straight into the hands of Chrissy Burkett, who sends a long one out to the left hand side to KP. Now, again, their right midfielder's showing a lot of respect. Doesn't want to give KP too much um, time and space. So he puts the pressure on. But one thing I will say about the boys is, man, we do play some neat and tidy football. Now, we have got plenty of ball players. The likes of Daisy on the ball. Very, very comfortable in possession. Sees Cad on the right hand side of the three. Plenty of time. Cad helps one on to Danny Charlton. Skips past their midfielder. But the referee blows it for a free kick. AJ spreads one out to Fitz. Gets it caught underneath his feet. But he overlaps there and the support's there by KP. KP sides up there right back once again. Overruns it a little bit. Al Capitano can't quite get it under control. But I will rate the energy and the work rate of Ryan Moulton here to go and win the ball back. Doing a job for us up top again, but that midfield work that he's used to just comes in hand there. Wins the ball back, plays it after the boy Dayan. He's starting in uh, that CDM role today. Akani sees the runner JJ. JJ tries to whip one across, but their big centre half clears it once again. Sent long and high into the sky. The boy Drew Ricketts wins the header, and the elite boys start again. Now again, there's more pressure on that left hand side with the boy KP giving their right back a tired time. That ball doesn't quite come off, but the idea is good though. Like I say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And as the boy Jim drones, late to the game today. So we thought he'd pop, up, pop his head up and say hello. <laughs> Shout out to Jim drones. 
And as always, shout out to the regulars that come down and watch the games. The likes of Hazard, Kellum, Callow's missus, Callow's little one. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's like a family affair down at the Elite, man. Respect for showing up and showing the support each time. Now back on that left-hand side, I guarantee it's not Groundhog Day. It's just KP doing the job on the left again. Absolutely giving him all sorts on that right-hand side. And as I say, that commentator's curse, he wins the ball. But again, the boys go hunting. Not satisfied of us losing the ball. We put the pressure on. And you know he got a quality centre off when he's doing Cruyff turns. Easy, Drew. The boy Dayan shifting his body. Naughty in that midfield today, I must say. Just playing it nice and easy. Back to CAD and we start again. Got the boy, Daisy De Bruyne, plenty of time on the ball. And like I said, man, um, Sparkle is happy to sit back and let us um, attack them. And they do try and catch us on a counter attack, which they are pretty dangerous. So I will give them credit where it's due, because if it does come off, they will catch certain teams. Moulton mistouches it and goes and wins us a free kick on the edge of the box. You got Fitz, Mr. Bit standing over it with Daisy De Bruyne. Looks like Daisy's likely to take it. Goes to one hard and low. Keeper parries it. But on the rebound, the boy Dayon's there to pick up the pieces. Makes it 1 0 to the Elite Boys. Now, shout out to Dayon scoring on his full debut. Hopefully, that's a sign of things to come. Nice one, Dayon. That's a nice start for the Elite boys. I will say well and truly earned. Um, even though it is an extended video, I can't put all the highlights in, but we did have quite a few chances and we had a lot of possession. So that 1-0 lead, I think is justified and only a true reflection of how we played the game. Danny Charlton pulling strings in that midfield again. And like I say, people, if it's not broke, don't fix it. KP giving that right back another torrid time. Supported there by Daisy De Bruyne. Got plenty of time on the ball. Comfortable in possession. Danny C into fits. Back out to Daisy, looking for options. But again, if we don't have to force it, lads, we don't need to. Little dink into Dayan's feet. Who I say, man, he's got a nice little shape to him, man, the way he turns on the ball. The referee could have given a free kick, but he plays the advantage. KP sends there right back to the shop again. Now they are going to double up on him, and I think they've had enough of KP. They're going to foul him. Nothing come with that free kick, if I'm being honest, and it went out for a throw into them deep in their half. Now Ryan Moulton sticks a good foot in there, wins the ball, but their defender clears it again. Very, very comfortable in possession, boys, I will say. One touch, two touch passing, plenty of time on the ball. Just see what options are available ahead of us. If it's not, if we don't have to rush it, then why rush it? Danny Charlton sees the runner AJ, but their left back cuts it out. Didn't really matter as their line or called for offside anyway. Uh, this isn't deja vu people or groundhog day it literally is um the boy just sat in their half it looks as if um the video clips are duplicated because all the attacks seem to be coming down the left hand side we wanted a free kick then on the uh, for the foul on ryan moulton as we believe dan hasn't got an advantage he's got three defenders all around him now and he whips one in for a cross but ideally would prefer the free kick on the edge of the box referee uh, chose to go otherwise now sparky with a free kick just inside of our half sent up by their right back their centre half helps it on, tries to beat Chrissy Burkett, but it's going to have to take something special to beat Mr. Save fans from there. Who sends a long one up the pitch, flicked on there by Ryan Moulton. KP with a naughty little pass there through to JJ. JJ had the opportunity to shoot with his left foot, he takes an extra touch. Their defender comes across and plays it out for a corner. Unlucky there though, Al Capitano. Now corner whipped in. Can we get something on it? Moulton tries to get his head on it, but their defender gets just enough. Their unit of a right winger, sizing up Daisy and KP's there to support him. We thought we won the ball there, but he gets another knock on it. Their striker comes across, tries to play it on, but the boy Cad does a jab just enough. Tries to keep it in play, but it does go out for a throw in deep to them in their half. Quick shot there by Spark Hill, but like I said, something special to beat Chrissy Berkey. Once again, Spark Hill in identical place where they took the last free kick. Can't beat the first man, and the boys break. 
Apologies for the bit of um, disruption with the camera here. JJ plays it into the feet of Dayon, who turns on it. Back into the feet of Mr. Bits, who helps it onto Moulton. Who tries to take it on his left foot, tries to whip him on a cross. But the defender gets there once again to put it out for another corner. Nothing coming that corner, and we start playing again. KP once again giving their right back no time, hassling him. Moulton, fair play, stuck a foot in, wins the ball back once again. Got the boy Cad. Is that Daisy? I believe it is. He's just changed sides for a short while. Moulton helps it on again. He's got JJ, tries to turn on it, but once again, their lump has the centre half. Wins it. Corner taken, across the box. Moulton scrapping for it. Whips one in again. Their defender gets a foot on it. AJ shoots. Nothing comes of it. Keeper picks it up. Quick distribution from the Spark Hill keeper out to their left back. Their midfielder's got time to turn on it. Tries to play a long one. Decent chest control by their striker. But their left winger ain't reading it. Chrissy Berkey picks it up. The boy is comfortable in possession as we do. AJ turns it again. Back into the feet of Cad. He plays it into Danny Charlton. Daisy's got plenty of time on the ball once again. Into Drew Ricketts. Who sends a long one out to KP. And what's that, Daisy? Go on. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, days that made me laugh, that did. Neat and tired though, but like I said, communication's key, boys. Doesn't matter how it comes across. And as we get the Jim Jones footage, Burkett sends one long with the field. Their midfielder wins it though. Retrieved by Malteser, aka Moulton, the man Maltz. KP sides up their right back once again, but sees an option into AJ, who turns back, loose pass into KP here. Defender gets a foot on it, um, but we still got the ball. Just that camera shot. Fitz into Danny, back to the feet of Fitz. And as, you, as I says, guys, man, they're giving us plenty of time on the ball. Moulton shoots, keeper parries it. JJ goes for the tapping, but. Keeper does just enough to put him off and it does go out for a goal kick. Now it wouldn't be Sunday League without a bit of physicality in it. You know what I mean? That's the side of the game I rate and I grew up on. Danny Charlton goes to win it, but referee could have given a foul there. They are still getting kicked at and referee pulls it back for a free kick. Got the boy Daisy De Bruyne standing over the free kick. Sees the runner Moulton, who's clearly onside, helps it on. JJ Bice will kicks it into the net, but their line was given offside. Um, at this stage, honestly, guys, I don't even argue anymore about offside, you know. There's no point because we're going to get it throughout the season, so all we can do is crack on and do it again. Decent finish by Al Capitano. Nice assist there by Moulton. Just a shame it didn't count. We'll go again, boys. Now, as we resume the game... More hunting and more doggy work by the boy Danny Trout in the midfield who goes and wins us the ball. Neat and tidy feet by the boy Moulton. Plays into the feet of Dayon. KP's got plenty of space on that left-hand side again and whips an absolutely worldy of a ball into the six-yard box. Can't quite get there, but the boys appreciate it nonetheless. Back up the other end. Sparkle in possession. Trying to keep it neat and tidy. AJ's gone over there to put some pressure on. Goes and wins the ball back. Referee gives us a free kick. And I ain't going to say nothing right now. Just going to let the um, football do the talking. Comes to nothing in the end, but the football, I must say, lads, man, it's getting better. Corner whipped in by the boy Fitz. Moulton gets ahead on it. Comes after bar. Unlucky there, Malteser. Back out to Danny Charlton again. Fitz is still wide. Turns on it. Looking for options. 
And we start again. Danny Charlton tried to drop a shoulder, trying to get a yard of space. Into the feet of Daisy. Could shoot with the left, but turns into it. Shout for handball, but their defender comes with it once again. Al Capitano into the feet of Moulton. He's got plenty of time. I do say that quite a lot in these videos. Like, I apologise for his doing it, but we have got a lot of time on the ball. Danny Charlton. Back to Daisy De Bruyne. Lovely ball into Ryan Moulton, who gets a great chest control on it. Their defender does just enough, so we can't get a shot away first time. But Moulton still swivels on it, gets a shot away. JJ can't quite get a foot on it to tap it in, and their big unit of a centre half wins it once again. And as we go up the other end, weak header there by Daisy, who's one of the first ones to admit it. Now, this has got to go down as the miss of the season. I don't know how he's put that wide. Um, there's a whole goal to aim for. <laughs> um, I really don't know how he missed it. And as the referee blows up for the end of the first half. Jim Jones, what are you saying, man? He's got the drone back. <laughs> How's things on good? Bless. Yeah, good, man. He's not going to take him from the side to say what's going on, is he? If yeah. I'm being honest, boys, you're doing a bit too quick with fingers rather yeah. than saying, you know what? If you see one of your lads is fucking struggling, it's the first touch is not on it, then back him up, please. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, but I'm not thinking anybody. It's not about pointing fingers above him. You could be the shooter of that. Boys, it's kind of going to get these games, and it's going to fucking turn up, boys. And we're going to fucking get rolled by us, everybody. You know we're going to have to mix it. It's going to be hard, man. So, that's what it is. It's going to be basic, man. Definitely. All of us, everything else will come off the back of that, am I lying? So if you win a tackle, yeah, June, you go for a victory of the tackle, you can close everyone else to win a tackle, innit? What I don't want that, sorry, June, is if somebody goes for a tackle or the missed time attack, is this. Because I'll be honest, every single one of these have done it today. Yeah, yeah. And boys, if I'm being honest, it's not, please. We're better than that. The thing is, though, on. when it's a goal kick or whatever, because yeah. they don't, they sit in, and yeah. Fitzy, fucking arms, we're getting on the ball yeah. and we got no pressure. Yeah. But in transition, when we've lost the ball and they're doing a goal kick, yeah. centimetres are turning the back sometimes, you get what I mean? And they'll just drop one in and then it's back on the And it's not a lad, it's not a knock, that's an observation. And it's so what I like, oi, let's put them things right then, boys. Yeah, it's 1 0 now. Yes. Oi, 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 lads, the next goal is a massive one. We need to make sure it's Come on, lads, man. Come on, boys. Keep going, man. Keep going, man. Keep going, man. And as we get the second half on the way, Spark Hill kick off, and the boys start with the same intensity. Half time team talk was clear as anything. Daisy intercepts their pass, plays a 1 2 with JJ, and in all fairness, Daisy needed goals and makes it 2 0. Overruns it in the end, but from kickoff, that's the attitude we like, lads. Nice desire. Again, Daisy De Bruyne wins the header. Strong by JJ, who's given a little nudge in the back there by their big centre half. And Dayan goes and wins us a free kick. Like I said, man, nice little turnout on the side. Shouts out to everybody that turned up, man, and come down. As we commence play, Al Capitano tries to get a shot away, and it goes out for a corner. The boy Starboy whips one in. Keeper gets his hands on it. Nobody's competing. Their keeper was looking for a quick one, but JJ does just enough for us to get back into position. Keeper sends one high into the sky, though. Then if striker can't get a foot on it, and Danny does just enough, man. He's, he's, he's annoying Danny, as I will say, man. He doesn't give nobody any time in that midfield. Look, as they try and get a control on it, gets a foot in once again, puts them under just enough pressure for them to go home. And in all fairness to Moulton, goes chasing. Sends them back to the keeper, bounces off him, and it could have gone anywhere. Good play though, lads. Free kick for Spark Hill. Take a short one. Tried to play it over the top, just out of camera shot. I do apologise, but we do win it. 
You got the ball, Dayan rolls into the feet of AJ, who again, they're backing off from him. Right hand side, Fitz is there. Dayan overlaps. And then the shift of the body again by Dayan here is naughty, man. Shifts again, drops the shoulder, whips one in. KP gets a foot on it, plays it out to Fitz. You can't get the power behind it. But once again, boys, man, the idea is decent. We're going to win the ball back again. Miscommunication there between Fitz and AJ. Unlucky, lads. Happens sometimes. Sparkle come away with the ball. Dayan goes hunting. Not giving him any moment on the ball. And like I said, man, Charms is Kante. Danny Charlton, six of footing. Now, like I said, people, it wouldn't be Sunday League without some feisty tackles, man. You get me? Moulton mixes it. Dayan mixes it. Their player goes and mixes it again with Moulton. Fitz sticks his foot in. Then their big man, in all fairness, sticks a foot in. We take a quick free kick. KP plays it into Al Capitano who talks it away. But what I will say is, um, during this, there was a bit of a like about five minutes stuck. The referee originally gives the free kick to Spark Hill and points obviously in their direction, but tells it's a free kick to us. So Sparker were caught off guard. As you can see, their keeper's running out now to have a word with the referee. They're not happy about it. Um, in the end, the referee admits his fault, said it's his, he, his mistake, um, brings play back. The goal doesn't count and it's still 1-0 to the elite boys. But again, we can argue the toss all day, but all we gotta do is go put the ball in the back of the onion bag again. Fair play to our lads for not getting involved, even though it was a hard one. We gotta agree with the referee's decision, boys. Now from the restart, whip a free kick in, KP on the edge of the box, comes close, takes a ricochet off their defender and flies over the bar. Nothing come to the corner, so we start again. Now during that break in play, we brought the boy Bex on for Moulton. Nothing against your performance, Moulton, it's just that we needed some extra um, ammunition up front, lad. Decent performance as always. Keeper, we're always looking for that quick distribution. Miscontrolled there by Challenges Kante, and again miscontrolled by their striker. So Danny plays it into the feet of Cad. Drew's got plenty of time on the ball. Always an outlet on the right hand side of Akani. Here again, man, neat and tidy on the ball. Whenever he drops that shoulder, pace and power, hard work. Throwing by Spark Hill. Should have been a foul throw, but referee plays on. Fitz sees the runner JJ up the wing. Gets his body in front of it. Now AJ's there to back him up. Decent control there by AJ, sees the runner Bex, whips it in the box and Bex only goes and makes it 2-0 to the elite boys. Now I must say AJ, that cross was absolutely bananas mate. Quality, Bex, quality finish as always, 2-0 to the elite boys. I deserve 2-0 lead for the elite boys, if I do say so myself. Um, all the possession we've had and we have been in control of the game. I think it was just a matter of time before we got the second one. And as the boys go hunting once again, don't give them any time on the ball. We want it back, we want the third. And once again, Drew all over there, striker, misplays it. And Chrissy Burkett just clears it up. And there's nothing coming out of uh, corner for Spark Hill. Uh, we did make another change before they took that corner. The boy Trey Burt is come on to play in that cam roll. Plays into Fitz. 1-2 with AJ. And now Fitz sees the runner Bex. Just overplays it. Can't quite get there. Bex has got time on the board though. Plays it out to Daisy. Gets a shot away. Stings the keeper's hands. And they parry it once again. Miscontrol there by the boy Mr. Bits. And then number 9 for Spark Hill comes and clears it up. Now back down the other end. Spark Hill got a throw in in our half. Fitz puts a foot in and wins it, puts them under some pressure. And like I said, man, the boys just go hunting. We want it more. Fitz mix it with their big man again. Oh, JJ can't, can't quite help it onto Taymor. Who come on for AJ with a slight knee injury. Bex tries to play it back into his own um, path. But again, referee pulls up play for a free kick. Now at this point, people, what can you say? Go down, go down. 
Now shut the back door. For me, we have scored some bangers this season and in pre-season. But for me, collectively, that has got to be my favourite goal so far this season. From a team point of view and team play, one touch. And then it's naughty uh, little bat flip into JJ's. Ah, oh, mate. Can't even get my words out. Goal's unreal. Pick that the onion bag keeper. Now straight from kickoff, the boy Danny Charlton goes hunting once again. He's just snapping at their midfielder's ankles, not giving him any time on the ball whatsoever, and goes and wins us the ball again. Now Fitz picks up the ball, plays into the path of JJ, close your legs keeper, and he goes and makes it 4-0. Now lad, straight from the kickoff. Now that's the hard work and commitment I talk about, man. Hard work beats talent if talent don't work hard. Now Danny Charlton, you're the epitome of that, mate. Quality that was. Now again, I think 4-0 is a true reflection of um, how much of the game we did control, how much of the possession we did have. Um, we were pretty much in control of the game pretty much from start to end. Sparker were happy to sit in their own half and try and catch us on a counter attack, but we done the job at the back in clearing up anything they had uh, to throw at us. Got the boy Bex, supported by Taymor. Oh, their defender gets a little foot on it. You got Al Capitano, out to fit you can put his foot through it. But he goes to play it through to Bex. Not quite on the same wavelength. And it goes out for a goal kick. Unlock it all, boys. Now, this is where we did switch off. Um, no offence to Daisy. And no offence to Chrissy Burkey. It's just one of them ones where we wasn't expecting the ball over the top. I think because we had a 4-0 lead, not making excuses for it. We did kind of take our foot off the pedal a little bit. So, Sparky will go and make it 4-1. And then the boys kick off once again. Quick change. Keown on for Cad. He went off with a tight groin. Hickers on for KP. So Taymor's on the left hand side. Hickers is on the right wing. Back position. And we crack on. And as we just get a shot away there by the boy Bex. Spark will come away with the ball. So I thought the boy Mr. Bits tries to um, ball roll it. Gets caught underneath his feet. And Spark will come away with it again. But I, I say it all the time, man. We keep putting that pressure on. Um, Spark will go and win themselves a free kick. Take a quick one. They thought they had the burners on Keown. But I don't think the lads know about Keown. He can mix it as well. Great tackle there by the boy Keown. Danny Charlton's there to pick up the pieces and support him. And plays up the if line. You think man's 230 deadlifter is going to be shook of some dead Birmingham elite? Come on, bro. Be serious. Don't be, like, you know, chatting shit like that, son. Come on. Oh, 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 <laughs> Now what that was is we got a voice note um, off the Spark Hill team saying that basically they've got a 230 deadlifter in the team that obviously we're, we're a whack team and they're going to do us this and do us that but clearly the smallest man in our team dripping wet you get me Hickman just showed one of their big geezers he needs to get back in the gym all banter but we love it though and as we crack on Spark Hill intercept the ball there send a long one up the field but again Trey Burt is over there doing the job just he's out for a throw in Got the boy Trey Bertie. Could have been a foul there, but referee says play on. Taymor doing bits and bobs on that left hand side. Now, that pass there by Bex was absolutely naughty. Their defender read it in all fairness, and the lads just showing credit for um, the appreciation for Bex's pass. Another one sent long with the pitch by Spark Hill. The boy Keown just wins it into the feet of Daisy De Bruyne. Plenty of time, like I say. Comfortable on the ball. Trey Bertie looking for options. Taymor's always happy to go attacking on that left-hand side. He loves a step over, this lad does. Their defenders don't want to go nowhere near him. Into the feet of Bex once again. Neat and tidy. Gets a shot away. Left foot. Keeper saves it easily, though. Now, a massive shout-out to my boy, man. A uh, man like Stephen Richards. Um, coach of Heath Ballers. Somebody that I've known personally for a long time. Great father figure, great man of the community. And as I talk about community, 
JJ just played a lovely ball into the boy Bex. Uh, once again, their linesmen give offside. Um, it gets boring at this stage. Um, Bex is clearly onside, but we just got to take it, lads. I suppose the 4 1's going to have to do. Into the dying embers of the game, and the boys are still looking for more. Nice little dummy there by Bex into JJ, who plays the pass off to Bex again. Gets a shot away, but the keeper saves it. Now, now it wouldn't be fair if we didn't get some footage of Burkitt. Um, he hasn't had much to do today, so Chrissy, here's your highlights of the game, pal. Ah, <laughs> uh, and we're literally into the last few seconds of the game. I'm surprised the referee even allowed us to take the corner. It's whipped in, nothing made of it. Drew Rickich tries to keep it in. Referee blows up for full time. Three points to the elite, boys. Boy, right, lads, well done, man. Well done, boys, well done, well done. The boy Jim Jones is here again. Lovely fucking job, Limited footage, but we're here. Oh, well. Drizzy! <laughs> <laughs> Did it again. Again. Well done, man. Yeah. Strike force. Difference when you come on, man. Played well there, man. You need to. Any, man. <laughs> give you the foul, yeah, but then he's give it to us. Yeah, so yeah you know, yeah, because I, I. Got the W. Well done, Faza. <laughs> Got it. Uh, hard work, hard but work. I think it's one of them teams, lads. Played some more. Played well. Played a carny. Played, played. Stay on. Played, sir. Played, man. Kickers, class when you come on, son. Did well. Quality, mate. Right? Big come man on, back. You know General at the back. Yeah, yeah, he's back. He's back. <laughs> what did you think of today, man? Do you know what? It was a scrappy game. It's, but it's one of them ones. Sometimes you're going through it. First half, final third let us down. Um, second half, we started well with the press. Didn't let them out. We've just got to be clinical. That's all it is. Nah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you know me. Yeah. Getting it, you get me. It's not broken. Oh, if Azza, what did you think of today then, man? Come on. Oh, I'll be honest, it was a slappy one. Like, see, it was a slappy one. The first half, we couldn't get going. But I think, you see, in the second half, the fact we got players on the bench that are decent, bro. That's when I made the changes. Set them, 11 changes change is a big thing. Exactly. Care of you. So, Auntie, if you know you got a game next week, fuck Barry's. Fuck the <laughs> Trust me. And it back again, lads. Hello, man. Hi. <laughs> yes, boys. You open. As we look at this week's fixtures and results and the table, the boys are sitting healthy in third place, game in hand, we win that, we go joint top. Now this week's man of the match goes to Dayon, Trizzy Trey Sungs. Absolutely immense in that midfield today, bro. Um, getting comfortable in the team, suiting ya. Now respect people, myself, Big Fazza, on behalf of Birmingham Elite FC, log on, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bless up.